I was like diehard Shania fan. I'm talking. I knew all the words to every album cut. And and this is age. This was age nine, nine. that I went <laughs> to the show. Yes. And so um, there was a big group of us all going to this concert. And I had made a sign with like black Sharpie and glitter on it on an orange neon sign that said, Shania, can I please sing with you? And I had asked my mom if she'd make Gutsy. me. Gutsy. Thank you. What, I mean, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> you know, that's the thing about being nine, though, is you're just not afraid of anything. So you show up at the concert, and, I mean, I'm standing there with my sign, and the security guard, like, let me stand right up by the stage, which was pretty crazy. And, I mean, I, this was, like, the best day of my life. I was at Shania Twain's concert, and I was singing along at the top of my lungs to all of this show, and she came around to somebody like 20 seats down and let her sing a couple lines and like put the mic towards the audience and she kind of kept walking towards me and I was like oh my goodness what if she lets me sing a couple lines but instead she like reached out her hand and so I like threw the sign behind me grabbed <laughs> her hand and we danced around the stage and it had like three tiers to it silver checker plate floor and like I'm holding her hand running around and we finished on the the top tier and I remember standing there and it's like this black curtain of lights with like 18,000 people screaming behind it. And it's like, this is it. I mean, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And it definitely lit a fire in me that, that night standing beside my hero going, I'm in. <laughs> and um, she let me sing a chorus of a, of, of a song and then she kind of brought me back to my seat and gave me a big hug. And uh, I, I still hold on to that fire inside me. I can't wait to like hopefully play a packed out arena someday and bring up some <laughs> nine-year-old kid and pay that forward because it's quite a feeling.